get a shaft sinking operation going, it requires a number of infrastructure like the hoist house. We also need a winch house, which we in this particular operation have uh, three winches in there that have ropes that basically help suspend the Galloway. The Galloway is a fancy name for a work stage for the uh, mining crew to work on when they're doing the shaft sink. So our shaft is going to be five meter finish in diameter. So when we excavate, we tend to go a little bit bigger to allow for the concrete liner that we need to pour. So in the excavation part of the cycle, we generally excavate to a diameter for about 5.8 meters in diameter to allow for that one foot uh, nominal thick concrete liner. Um, so it's pretty tight space if you actually stood in the center of a shaft. So picture if you're standing in the middle of a shaft, you've got about uh, you know, two and a half to three meters either way, and you're within close proximity to a number of other workers who are also working in the shaft. The shaft bottom for this uh, particular shaft at Island for the Phase 3 Plus expansion will be 1,379 meters in depth. The culture that we want to establish here is a very collaborative and open culture with all our contractors. We do hold them accountable, but we're the kind of owner that want to work with our contractors to get to the end goal of the project, because if our contractors are successful, we're also going to be successful as well on the project. At the end of uh, last year, we actually brought uh, permanent power into the shaft site in order to run our permanent uh, production and service of the hoist and that will actually be used for our sinking as well. So we have a 44 kV line that you've all seen as we were coming into the site. That line runs to the shaft site, and on the shaft site we have a 44 kV substation that steps the power down to 13.8 kilovolts. And then we also have E-House on site, which has a series of uh, switch gear and electrical infrastructure along with uh, three medium voltage transformers on the shaft site footprint to be able to bring our voltage down to the uh, proper voltage that we need for use in the various uh, buildings and infrastructure.